Toyota is committed to an innovative project in its workshops, but it's not just an ordinary vehicle, it's a revolutionary hydrogen-powered vehicle. While you may be familiar with Toyota's Mirai, which uses fuel cells to generate electricity, this new venture is entirely different and is called the hydrogen combustion engine. The technology Toyota is developing could change the automotive industry as we know it forever. While other automakers have opted for fully electric vehicles, Toyota is taking a different path, not just to be different, but to be the best option. In this video, we will explore how Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine works and what it means for the industry. So, stay with me until the end to not miss any details. But before we begin, I would like to ask you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as we have videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on the channel discussing relevant topics and themes for your knowledge about the world, geopolitics, and business. Anyway, let's get to the video. Carbon emissions from the transportation industry account for an impressive 15% of global emissions. Traditional combustion engines have been significant contributors to pollution. While electric cars are undoubtedly gaining popularity, they are not the only solution, and that's what some people argue. It is in this context that Toyota's new branch comes in with its diversified approach to carbon neutrality, the hydrogen combustion engine. Hydrogen is the most abundant element in the universe and has the highest specific energy density of any non-nuclear energy source. Furthermore, it is emission-free and non-toxic, can be produced from various sources, stored indefinitely, and transported relatively easily. Currently, millions of tons of hydrogen are produced and used accident-free, being employed as an energy source in buildings, electric cars, forklifts, ships, and trains. Hydrogen engines have a greater range and do not need to be recharged like electric cars. Moreover, the only byproduct that comes out of the exhaust pipe is water, yes, none of the harmful pollutants we are accustomed to. Now, you may be wondering how all this works. Well, all hydrogen engines use a fuel cell that converts hydrogen into electricity, an application of science, not magic. This innovative technology from Toyota has the potential to transform the automotive industry and offer a promising alternative to traditional engines, significantly contributing to carbon emission reduction and, consequently, environmental preservation. And did you know that Toyota started reducing fossil fuel-powered vehicles in 1997 when it launched the Prius? The company has been committed to ecology for some time. But it's not the only automaker in the world working to create environmentally friendly cars using solar, electric, and hydrogen power. This effort is not just about saving the planet but also providing energy security, improving air quality, and minimizing environmental impact. Once produced, hydrogen is efficient and cost-effective to distribute. Most new hydrogen refueling stations produce hydrogen on-site using electrolysis with 100% surplus renewable energy. The best part is that these stations are containerized and require only water and energy to operate. The energy is supplied through green tariffs or, in some stations, obtained directly from solar or wind sources on site. Toyota now claims to have developed a new way to harness the power of hydrogen. Their engineering team recently introduced the Corolla Cross H2 concept, a new hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine prototype. This approach differs from the fuel cell technology that powers their latest hydrogen-powered car, the Toyota Mirai. It's important to note that the concept of powering an internal combustion engine with hydrogen is not new. One of the pioneers in this field was the German automaker BMW, which launched the 750HL in 2002, followed by the Hydrol 7 in 2005. BMW's Hydrol 7 was based on a 6.0-liter gasoline V12 engine, but with some modifications to burn hydrogen in addition to gasoline. It was a dual-fuel engine, and only 100 of these cars were produced. However, hydrogen is highly flammable, which raises safety concerns, and it is also challenging to process and store, which can be problematic. Nevertheless, 
Toyota is committed to finding solutions to reduce vehicle emissions and meet customers' transportation needs. They believe that there is no one-size-fits-all solution, and investments should be made in all areas to address immediate, medium, and long-term needs worldwide. And that's where hydrogen comes in, becoming an integral part of Toyota's Beyond Zill campaign. They are planning to do this with their H2. Now you might be wondering what H2 is, right? Well, it's Toyota's sophisticated name for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, and it seems to be the future of automotive technology. So, how does it work? The GR Corolla H2 is equipped with a 1.6-liter, three-cylinder turbocharged engine, but with a little surprise, it runs on hydrogen. To make this possible, Toyota uses thick and armored fuel tanks to store the highly flammable hydrogen technology, which they borrowed from their FCV, the Mirai. With just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, the car can be driven for up to 480 kilometers, and the only thing it emits is 50 liters of water. Undoubtedly, this car is environmentally friendly, isn't it? Now, let's talk about power. Toyota has also partnered with Yamaha Motor to create a hydrogen-powered V8 engine. Yes, that's right, a V8 engine that runs on hydrogen and produces 455 horsepower and 55 kilograms of torque. But the Rayal highlight is the top-mounted exhaust manifold, which creates a unique high-frequency sound. And if that's not enough, hydrogen-powered cars also have a longer range and faster refueling times compared to electric vehicles, just 90 seconds for the GR Ares H2. Moreover, this technology reduces the need for materials with limited supply, such as lithium and nickel, which are used in electric car battery packs. So, whether you're a car enthusiast or just someone who loves cutting-edge technology, the GR Corolla H2 is definitely something to keep an eye on. With real-world testing already underway, it won't be long before we see these cars on the roads. And when that happens, forget everything you know about electric cars because Toyota's hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine has many advantages over them. The biggest one is its longer range, and refueling is as fast as a drag race. Now, not only is this technology beneficial for drivers, but it's also environmentally friendly. Toyota's hydrogen engine requires far less rare metals like lithium or nickel, which are critical in manufacturing electric car batteries. Although it has a battery, it is substantially smaller than an EV's battery. The Corolla H2 concept car is undergoing real-world evaluation and winter road testing in northern Japan. With high expectations from the Japanese government for hydrogen, they plan to have 200,000 fuel cell vehicles on the roads by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030. With more refueling stations planned throughout the country, now let's talk about the sound. Not only is it fantastic, but the exhaust noise is not much different from a gasoline vehicle we already know. However, without fossil fuel to burn, Toyota's innovative hydrogen engine emits almost no CO2. Of course, it still produces a certain amount of harmful gases, but significantly less than a pure gasoline car. And what about safety? Toyota has taken care of that too. They have added stronger connecting rods, valves, and valve seats, as well as injectors compatible with gas instead of liquid. So, you can drive with confidence, knowing that safety is a top priority. But what are the benefits of this new technology? Well, let's start with the main drawback of electric cars, charging time. We have all heard horror stories, but with hydrogen, that's not a big issue. Just like a car with an internal combustion engine, hydrogen takes only 90 seconds to be refueled. And although there are not many outlets providing it now, they usually integrate well with traditional gas stations. Furthermore, the small battery in the GR and Aries H2 requires fewer raw materials, such as lithium or nickel, making it even more environmentally friendly. Now, tell us, are you excited to see this new engine in Toyota cars? Let us know your opinion in the comments. Until next time.